All right, so quite a few months ago, uh, my uncle and I, we uh, happened upon a uh, yard sale where everything was free, and he scored a box, a big box of stuff for taking care of your boots and your shoes, whatever, and there was some bear grease in there and some mink oil in there, and he shared some of it to me, but it came in these <clears throat> tuna cans, and what I'm going to do now there's the bear grease, is I'm gonna melt it down and I'm gonna put it into some proper containers so it'll last for some time. So we're gonna go ahead and get after that right now. This is actually a hot plate I picked up for a cold smoker that I'm gonna be building later this winter. So this is uh, probably a, a good test run, see how well it works. See if she gets uh, nice and hot. Oh, I should probably plug my extension cord in. That would probably help a lot. Oh, there we go. Now she's on. Yep, yeah, yeah, now we got some heat. We'll do the mink oil first. Oh, it's burning off the brand new whatever. Smoking there a little bit. Seems to be a dog hair or something in here. Let me go ahead and get that out. Now I don't want to burn it, so I'm going to put this all the way down on low. Just want to render it down to a liquid. And then we'll put it into this little container I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Well, I just put you guys over there. Let's put you back. There you go. There we go. Got our container ready. Look at that. It's that thing's rendering down super fast. I wonder if I got it too hot. Turn it down a little bit. Don't want to burn it. This is this is actually pretty old. Uh that box of all the shoe care accessories. They those things dated back to the 60s, so Very likely this has none of those extra ingredients that cause cancer in California in it, so I 
definitely don't want to burn it. Melting down pretty quick. I would imagine that because it's melting so quickly, I could probably get the bear grease going at the same time. That's a little bit different looking stuff. I just want to get it down into a liquid so I can not waste anything. I can transfer all of it into a container and not lose nothing. Yep, bear grease. Yeah, this mink oil is almost completely all rendered down. This bear grease might need a little bit more heat because so far nothing's happened so far. Well, we'll get the mink oil off and into the jar first and then I'll gradually bump the heat up a little bit on the bear grease. Just a little bit of a speck left there on the mink oil and uh, we'll be ready here in about probably less than half a minute. Yeah, there we go. Got a couple black specks of dirt or something in there, but there we go. That's some good mink oil to take care of my boots. Set that aside to solidify. This bear grease looks like it's going to need a little bit more work to get rendered down so I can pour it out. 
I'll bring that heat up to a medium to see what that does. I'm guessing that if it starts smoking, it's too hot, so I need to probably turn it down if it starts to smoke. We'll try the medium for a while. See what happens. It bubbled a little bit right there. That might be a bad thing. Yeah. That's probably not good. Let's turn it down a little bit. Let's go halfway between low and medium. I just want to turn it into a liquid. That's it. No boiling, no burning. It's liquefying maybe a little too fast. Let's go down a little bit more. Now it's making noises, so we're going to go down even more. Once it started taking heat, it started melting out really quick. It didn't take too long. There's just a little speck left there in the middle that's... Well, now it's gone. Alright, let's get this thing into the jar. I'm going to turn it off. go some bear grease it'll take care of my boots for quite a while Ooh, that's a little warm and bear grease and mink oil a boots best friend yeah <laughs> look at that too hot I melt into plastic Well, I guess this is going into the next, uh, into another jar. Eh, boy. You know what? Let's put there so it doesn't blow up. And I'm going to get another jar and some cold water. So once I pour it in the new jar, I can put the jar into the cold water. And that'll keep it from deforming, basically. All right, got cold water, got a new jar. Oh, that thing shrank big time. I need that to be a normal looking jar, not a shriveled up one. Right in the cold water.
looks like the uh, melting point for mink oil compared to bear grease is pretty low. Yep. Lost a little bit of bear grease in there. But I still got some. There we go. That's it for this video. Um, I got another video coming out with the doghouse that I'm currently doing this right on top of right now because I'm painting it right now and I'm getting ready to put the roof on and the door and then it'll be done so stick around and uh, there'll be another video coming here very soon see you on the next video